there everybody welcome to another video by me mr drone you can see in the background just uh behind the the road signs that i'm in front of the everton stadium down at brandley moor dock i'm here to do my midweek video so my my weekly video the one where i do the full fly around only actually come out on monday due to the weather last weekend very very windy um but yeah i've had still had quite a lot of uh comments and questions on it thank you very much enough for me to get out here thursday the 11th of april get up in the air and cover some of your questions and comments um i'll tell you one for me before i get up there since i did my so i did my um weekly video monday afternoon put it live just as i was editing it um to to get it live we were it was announced that we'd had another two points deducted um so we like we won three points saturday at burnley at, well not at burnley when we had burnley at our at Goodison, and then two of them were taken off um just like getting a draw against burnley it was it's horrible more points deductions but hopefully hopefully that's the end of it i have seen more um rumors that there could be even more but it's it's the it's the just hanging isn't it when, when you're hanging in limbo um if they would say that you know that that's it i think just crack on them but whatever anyway it was gutted again gutted everton isn't it anyway do you know what let's bring some some uh some positivity back into it let's get up in the air cover some of your questions and comments on this amazing stadium down around the old dock let's get up there Right, okay, everybody, you can see I'm already up in the air, looking directly at the East Stand, the East Stand Plaza, as usual. As we get in nice and close, and I'll just bring up my first question and comments that I've got, and see where it takes me. Okay, so here we go, we've got Peter Harrison 966, who says... Uh, hi Nick, great video as usual. Thanks Peter. What's the chill out music for the first part? I know you've used it a few times and the Doctor 46 UK says I second this always like that tune Okay, so the first one on my weekend video was a was a track called Evergreen by Morgan Kibby. Okay, that's Evergreen by Morgan Kibby. Um, I'm glad you like that one. I, I do have quite a few comments on that people do seem to enjoy it So there you go. That's Evergreen by Morgan Kibby. Thanks Peter and cheers the Doctor as well um moving on we have let me see where are we going um sorry guys it's all on my phone and my phone just closed down um right we have craig cochran 1837 who says hi nick this isn't 100 percent but i'm sure they are putting solar panels on the roof apparently have, they have changed some of them to give more space on the fan plaza right okay um craig not sure um where you mean because you've just said on the roof but just to to confirm they are put in um solar panels on the south stand roof which is this one okay as far as i am aware craig that is the only roof that is going to have um any any solar panels on there um oh, well when i say there, somewhere along that roof which we we will follow and have a look i'm going to zoom in now and check what they haven't finished that roof yet uh, we have seen we have been over before in one of my videos not too long ago we've been over the um the roofing system and the, the different um parts and levels of it but they're nowhere near finished with this yet as you can see when i zoom in so they're definitely nowhere near installing solar pan solar panels on the roof as yet craig but i'm not sure what you meant about the fan plaza um craig but as far as i'm concerned that's the only place they're putting solar panels is on that south stand roof okay um nice one for your comment though if you want to want to explain what you meant where you said um this is 100 but i'm sure they're putting solar panels on the roof apparently they have changed some of them to give more space on the fan plaza if you want to explain what you mean by that because i'm i don't know they i don't think they were ever looking at solar panels on the fan plaza that would have where i mean where would they put them but yeah just if you want just to explain what you mean there craig thanks for your comment though mate um but yeah it's south stand roof for the for the um for the solar panels buddy moving on lee stewart says they've started laying the floor in near the southwest corner at the bottom of the pavilion stairs um and on that note i've also got and um, this is this one's from david badcock who says at seven minutes 28 of your last video you can see that they sorry there's a fly buzzing around <laughs> You can see that they have started the laying of new granite sets on the southern end of the West Plaza in front of the terracing, as well as preparing the ground on the west side, the water channel for the same. Let's see. And what I've done here, I've picked out comments relating to the West 
plaza. Normally when I'm doing the west I'd have to move round so I'm nice and high. Look at that. Down there, it's where you mean isn't it? Look at this, are you zoom? I'm heavily reliant on my zoom today because I've had to stay nice and high. Yeah, look at that. Well spotted. Lee Stewart, David Badcock as always. Look at that. Yeah, they're laying them there. Laying them as we speak. Oh, look at him lifting, using that to lift. Let's just watch this. Look at that. Machines for everything now. I mean, I know they're big, they're big slabs, like, but class that, isn't it? Can't, can't park that there, mate. <laughs> Good seeing that. Um, and so David Badcock also said between the water channel as well. Um, what did you say, David? Started the new lane. The ground sets on the southern end of the West Plaza and the as well as preparing the ground on the west side of the water channel for the same. There, there you mean. Oh, you mean that, David? Yeah. Looks like they're preparing that there as well. Definitely. Thank you very much for those comments, guys. Moving on, I've got Neil Afferton, 8534, says, Hi, Nick. Another great video. Thanks, Neil. Me and the lads always keep up to date watching your fly around in work. Oh, superb. Uh, cheers, lads. Shout out to you all, Neil Afferton and the lads in work. Um, what's the significance between the south and north end beams? Why is one set white and another black? Also, the black panels between the brickwork on the walls, why are they there? Are these for advertisements? If not, why black? The south and north stand beams. Uh, what do you mean? Outside, inside? Outside or inside? Mate, let's... I can't, there's no beams inside anymore, is there? So it's got to be outside. So let's go outside the south first. I haven't stayed really high today. So we're in position. So south stand beams there. White. I'm guessing I'll take a flight right across. So we just have a little look inside while we're at it. And let's look at the north. So Sorry, let me turn around, see if I've got enough. Not quite. Sorry for all the turning guys, but no, at the very bottom, the very, very bottom down there. Do you mean, Neil? Um, if so, mate, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe somebody else might know if there's, if there's any reason why some are black, some are white. Um, but you say about the black, the black panelling in between then it's not for advertising the black panelling in between those brick facades neil um absolutely not no um i think it's just they, they want to keep this like um do you call it is it is it art deco um design or something it's just the design mates maybe there's there's a reason people are starting to call it barcode um if we if we put our phone over the barcode we get our uh we get our points back and that people started joking on that but i think it looks nice but it's just the design you know there's no there's no like it's not they're not using it for advertising or anything those black sections definitely but why there's i don't know about the 
the black and white um, black and white posts as well. Um, don't know about them, the black and white beams. Uh, anybody? Any idea? You just drove uh, them, man, yeah? I am, mate, I yeah. yeah. See you. I always watch your videos. Ah, oh, cheers, yeah, mate. Nice thanks very much. You yeah, you Thank too, you mate. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. Thank thanks, buddy. Ta. Cheers. Um, yeah, so, Neil, cheers. Cheers for that, anyway. But I don't know. So I'm sure somebody might, might jump in and give us an answer, as people generally do. Um, moving on, I've got at Ambutter 1978. Nick, do you have any roof in contacts that could provide input on the discrepancy in colour of some of the standing seam panels that have been installed on the West Stand roof? Let's have a look. Obviously, the rolls of material that were used were not all consistent in colour. But are they going to leave them as is, or are they going to go back and replace panels so they are all matching? I know you'd live with it if it was on your roof at home, but this is a pretty high-profile project on which to have mismatched panels, personally. I wonder if this may be why the container has disappeared as they work this out. See what you mean, Butter? It's like there, you see the see the change. Um, I'll zoom in. No. Do you know what, I'm already zoomed in. Um, not that much though, but yeah, there, there's, there's a change like there, isn't there? Like, if I zoom out, it's probably a bit more noticeable there. There's a, like a patch. It's, it's darker, is there? You can see the way it goes darker. <laughs> tell you guys, I've got this horrible little fly buzzing around me. It's doing me head in. Um, it looks like a... Like, it looks like a line there as well that's different. It's a good spot, that, uh, Butter. Anybody, anybody, any ideas on that? I know a couple of the roofing people do watch this channel, so uh, I've commented on that before. Um, anybody, any info on that? I'll try and reach out to a couple of people, guys, and get, um, get some info if I can. It's a good spot, though, Butter. Thank you very much for that. Moving on, I've got Cormac Jones, 12, who says, I see there's some of the red brick stuff about to be put on the east stand there. Um, and I'll just go, cheers, Cormac. I've also got, this is one from David Barcock, who says, at 3 minutes 37 on my last vid, you can see that they have the brick facades ready to lift onto the east stand where the core service tower was, which is down here, guys. There's only, if you look at my video at the weekend, there was quite a few still laying there, I can come a bit lower now because I'm in a better position and now there was quite a few laid right across here and now there's only these left but yeah they are there ready to be lifted there's a few gaps there isn't there to put them on but they're definitely ready them two to be placed like I say they, these went uh, when I watched the video back um, these were right along uh, right along this floor area on Monday so they've lifted quite a few there already let's have a look at it good spot Cormac uh, and Dave Badcock as always thank you very much we will move on to this one from, this is from David Badcock, who says, the lorry at 2 minutes 10 had used the new vehicle entrance, vehicle entrance of the United Utilities Regent Road Tower Gate. At 2 minutes 38 minutes, you can see they are working on the rebuild of the wall and cut through. That was the long-standing temporary vehicle entranceway. So what David's saying there is that they're now, uh, absolute timing, because there's a truck there. So they're now using that as the vehicle entrance it goes up the the north stand what time and that is with that with that big wagon there oh let's sorry let's get back over and i'll just pan up where he's going
if he goes past now, it might give a real um, good reference as to the size. Oh, he is as well. Hopefully he goes all the way up. Because I want to give it reference to the size of the um, underneath this stand. People seem to still be concerned about. Oh, he's going to stop, isn't he? Keep going for us, trucker. Go on, you little trucker. Oh, he's going slow. Anyway, whilst he's deciding what he's doing, let's just look. Let's take a zoom over. Because David said they've also started rebuilding, which they have. See them down there rebuilding. That's where the main entrance has been for basically since they started. And um, that's always been that entrance. One of the guys there have a look in. So it's a lot of people used to used to be able to stand at the, the entrance and have a look at it. Um, you'd get a good view up, you know, straight into it there. No more because they, they've blocked it in. Uh, they're doing the work on it. Already started. So, yeah, that's that's good to see. And another good spot. Thank you very much for picking up on that. Um, everybody that did and David for pointing it out. So, more changes again with the with the vehicle. Access. Oh, he's not moving anymore, unfortunately. Um, so, last but not least, I have Alan Forrest. 6223 says great video just a question about the new entrance to the sites there you go right on it um there are three towers and two are on the everton side and i'm sure they will be refurbished them two there alan yeah great um but what about the other one the other tower on the water treatment side will everton be refurbishing that tower or will the water treatment or pearl have anything to do with that being repaired doug the blue has said that is another one coming in. Don't the blue has said that tower belongs to United Utilities, we so have no say. I doubt United Utilities will do anything. Totally agree with, with Dunk the Blue there. Totally agree. Um, it's a great spot. Alan regarding uh, who they belong to. So yeah, these two, uh, this will be the new entrance here. You see they've got the bollards. Are they in there? Or are they just ready for bollards? Um, that'll be the entrance. This will be handed back to United Utilities. And I very much doubt, as Dunk the Blue said, I very much doubt United Utilities will do anything with that. It doesn't even look in too bad shape, let's, let's be totally honest. Let's also zoom out and see if we've got that truck going up. Where is he? He's going up. Now let's give some reference. But yeah, um, Alan, I don't, I don't know if United Utilities will do anything with that at all. That third one. Right, I've just come down because I want to give you the reference. Look at the size of the truck. That is a big um, cement truck. And look how, look at the size comparison with that. And the truck. I hope you could get that reference. Even look at it now. It looks tiny going up the side of that stadium. Thus showing that that access behind and under the north will be absolutely fine. For people that were still concerned about it but that was my last one guys so we're going to finish off there okay get the drone back down okay guys there you go that was my midweek video of the everton stadium down at Bramley moor dock um covering your questions and comments quite a few quite a few good ones um there um in fact really good ones i thought loads of progress to, to pick up on um east stand with those uh brick facades uh west stand the the floor that's the flooring that started um looks really good um what else was there a couple of questions regarding the roof um so yeah guys please do um let me know that west stand roof does anybody have any any inside info on that of what's going on there because the, the shade does look different um like somebody had pointed out, so I think it was Ian Butter, was it, had pointed out. Um, and then, yeah, a few more things, if anybody knows the difference in, in the colour of beams, south and north stand. Um, what else? I don't know, there were loads. There was quite, quite a few good ones, really good ones there. Uh, so thanks very much for putting all them over to me. Um, please like, share and subscribe. I think that's it, nothing else to mention. No, oh yeah, there was. Um, I'd done a bit of a different video Monday night this week. Um, whereas I, I went on a little ghost hunt with another YouTuber named Casey Imageworks. Um, 
have a little look at that if you don't mind. It was in a it was in a pub local um, up in up in Bootle. Uh, Casey Imageworks asked me to do it with him because he went in on his own uh, the night before and got a little bit scared. So have a look at that. Um, there's quite a quite a lot that we we kind of picked up. Um, so yeah, I might just um, we've said we might just do like one a month of them in different locations. Just one a month, you know, not getting not going over the top. Um, it's not something I've, I'm particularly into if I'm honest. But when I've done that piqued my interest a little bit so yeah um keep an eye out for them other than that guys please like share and subscribe as always please hit that button thank you very much take care